How's it going guys, Andy here and welcome to another video. Bit of a catch up video for you today. Lots been going on, been very busy as usual. It's Q4, which means I'm just shipping all day long right now, which is a nice problem to have because it means the money is rolling in right now, which is all good. But I thought I would jump on and give you a bit of an update uh, about a few videos I've posted recently. If you cast your mind back about a month, you may have caught a video I made regarding this here listing for a petrol lawnmower. If you didn't catch it, a link to that original video is on your screens. Now you can watch it and come back and watch this one. But however, the purpose for that video was really to make the point about effective eBay listing creation. If you've been hanging around a while, you'll know that I always bang on about proper eBay listing titles and proper photos. Now I use this as an example for a bad title and a bad photo. I don't just bang on about these things for my own entertainment. There is a real reason why I talk about these things. And for this one, I put my money where my mouth is. I said it's a bad listing. I said it wasn't going to get many views. I said the title's horrendous. And I said that this listing will be underperforming. And lo and behold, it sold for the starting price. It didn't get any bids apart from the only one that I put on there, which was the original starting price. I bid for it. I got no competition. I won it because no one saw this. I wouldn't be surprised if there was very, very little views because the title is Petrol Lawnmower. With that title, he's competing with every single petrol lawnmower on eBay, which is an awful lot. He's going to be drowned in so many other listings. No one's ever going to find it. And even when they do, they're greeted with a picture of a corner of a box, a driveway and someone's shoes. Not a compelling listing. So I went ahead and bought this item. It happened to be just down the road from me in a very famous town called Newmarket. So I drove down there and met up with a very nice guy who obviously doesn't have that much experience with eBay, but his loss is my gain because obviously I just flipped this around and within less than a month it sold for £229.95. I merchant fulfilled this one because it's a big heavy box. I had no inclination to send this up to FBA, so my fees were just £33.11 and the return was £196.84. We're into it for £75, and with the courier to get this to where it was going, I'm left with a cool £100 profit. Not too shabby for what amounts to a half an hour drive in the car and two minutes listing on eBay and Amazon. So hopefully this will act as real life proof that you can really affect the profits you make with your listing title and your pictures. So a quick spruce up and I've added a hundred pounds worth of value to the listing. So two things to consider here. Firstly, make sure you get your listings right when you're selling. And secondly, be on the lookout for listings like this because there are badly listed items finishing every single day on eBay. You can make use of free tools like Goofbid that have a variety of different tools to locate badly spelled and badly listed listings. There's also a local area search tool in there as well. So get out there and see what you can find. On another subject, my Amazon FBA live coaching course is now open for registration. It will be until Monday night. So if you'd like to know how to build an Amazon business from scratch, I'm going to be conducting a series of live webinars I'm going to take you through the process step by step right from the very beginning all the way through. I'm going to show you where to find stock, how to make that buying decision, how to harness the data analytics tools and really break it down into a step by step fashion. And I'll be on hand all of the way as you go through this process to make sure you're on track building your new business. You can ask questions and previous students will also be on hand to give you some help and encouragement also. As this is a live online course, it's available to anyone in any country. If you're in the US, if you're in Australia, if you're in Europe, you can jump on this course and I will show you how to build your own FBA business. Whether you have just £50 to invest in stock or whether you have £5,000 to invest in stock, I have different strategies to suit every budget. So if you want to get into Amazon FBA and finally build a profitable business, I am very excited to be holding this live coaching course starting next week. Registration will remain open over the weekend. We'll be closing Monday evening UK time, so that's probably Monday lunchtime if you're in the US. The link to the introduction video and registration page is in the description box below. You can find out a little bit more details and grab yourself a place on the course. But don't delay because there are only a few days left before we get started. And this will be the only live coaching course I'll be holding this year. The next one won't be until the springtime. So check that out link in the description box below. 
I'm really excited for this and I hope we can work together to build your new business. All right, that pretty much wraps it up for this catch up video. More good videos coming up very shortly. But for this one, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.